Hey guys, today let's talk about a new Craigslist scam. Uh, Craigslist is a very heavy place for a lot of MTG scams. A lot of people who, there are two main scams I've seen in the past where people are selling, selling a ton of counterfeits. And you know they are counterfeits because every card is from a list and every story begins with, I broke up with my boyfriend. My boyfriend spent a lot of money on these cards. I don't know what they are worth. I'm going to sell you all these, you know, $50,000 of cards for $1,500. And then some dude on Reddit is like, oh man, that's an amazing deal. Let me get, you know, let me go to Walmart. And then Walmart tells him, hey, you're pretty much going to get scammed. We're not going to write this check for you. And then he goes to another Walmart and that Walmart also figures out it's a scam. So they're not also, they're also not going to give him the cashier check. And then he goes, gets cashier check anyway. So pretty uh, unrealistic story, but I can see it happening because if the deal is too good to be true, it's too good to be true, but you still have a sucker who will really be greedy enough to believe it's true on the offset that it might be on the 0.0001%. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's one type of scam is the counterfeit scam and the other type of scam is when someone does not own the collection. So you can use a website called Tinei, T-I-N-E-Y-E dot com to do a reverse search on images. And the reason this is important, if someone has posted a month or two months ago or today and they're taking images from they, they do not own, that is sketch as anything. Because if you own Power 9, then one of the things that you, if you did own the Power 9, you needed high resolution images, right? You cannot copy and paste other people's images from an eBay auction that ended in 2005. That would cause me to be very gravely concerned that you A, don't own the card and B, you wanna rob me to bring me out to this area. But anyway, those are just the two most popular scams I've seen in the past. Now let's go on to this new, better, uh, I'm always curious and intrigued and in how creative these people are on Craigslist. So the scam goes this way. I want to buy your bad magic cards, your junk rares, or your, you decide what I should pay for your cards. And you're like, oh, well, 10 cents a card, which for bulk is very good. And then they say, okay, yeah, let's meet. I just want to meet you. And the whole point is to get a meeting. And you're, you're gonna sell all these bulk cards and know that Goodwill, Goodwill won't even take these cards and you're gonna sell them for thousands of dollars. Nope, not gonna happen. And then I'm addicted to opening boosters. This is very creative. I even like watching other people open boosters, but I can no longer play and it's not as fun when you're chasing after card X. Let me buy the boosters, you can open them and you can keep card X, I'll just watch. Now, the watching part, that's pretty creepy. The opening boost apart, that's pretty creepy. But a lot of new players, a lot of younger players, so this is targeting not older, so Power 9 fakes and Fetch Land fakes, and I'm pretty sure that has a very low percentage of actually working because the people who are going to buy Power 9, people who are going to buy expensive cards, they pretty much, they know what scam looks like because they've been playing Magic for a long time. But if you're younger or and newer to the game and you just want to open packs and then someone offers you the ability to open as many packs as you want until you get the, what's the best mythic right now? Let's say that you get Liliana, right? Hey, come to my home in the middle of nowhere in this barn and we'll open cases, cases of Modern Masters 2017 and for every Liliana you pull, you get to keep it and I get to watch you. Guys, guys, please, please, I can't stop. This is too much. This, the Walmart story, which I presented, where the guy was gonna buy $50,000 of cards for 1500, and then he reduced the price to like 1250, 1200 with shipping, free shipping. And he went to a Walmart, and the Walmart said, nah, this is pretty much a scam, we're not gonna do that, and good on that Walmart. So he went to a second Walmart. The second Walmart also told him it was a scam. And we're talking about minimal paid employees are looking at this magic player saying, wow, you are an idiot. And then he went to a third place to get a cashier check. And he wanted to send it so badly that he asked Reddit for their opinion and had Reddit said, yeah, this looks legit. 
as a joke, he would have sent the fifteen to 1200 off. Guys, this is pretty ridiculous. This sounds like a way that you can get robbed. This sounds like, you know, something that, like, honestly, it, it just sounds dangerous. Like, okay, you're going to somebody that you don't know, that you've never met, that you've never talked to, that you don't have any connection with. You're going to his home or her home, I guess, and you're going to open product and then open until you get the card you want and a person's going to watch you and do what? Are they recording this? Are they... Uh, the the crazy part is I have seen I have seen just the strangest stuff on Craigslist. So my newest dog Norman, it's my company dog. It's a beautiful dog, Australian separate. So when I was adopting him from he got adopted from Craigslist. I'm a really big fan of adopting dogs. Um, and Craigslist is one of the places that like if they don't get adopted at that point, they go to the animal shelter. I volunteer. I used to volunteer at Bark, which is the Houston kind of the Houston um, animal shelter, if you will. And that's what happened. So I adopted Norman and just like the stuff that people were saying about like what you needed, like not this ad, but other ads like, oh, you know, this is not, I don't have any paperwork, but that trust me, he's a purebred. And then you look at that picture and it's like, okay, so this is a Akita, like, uh, no, like it's not the right size, it's not the right color. Norman, by the way, is a Australian separate. He is a four blood. I mean, he is a pure bred four blood. So, I mean, he came with paperwork and came with everything. And then I was like, okay, this makes sense. But just the stuff that people are trying to sell on Craigslist in a way, it's so creative, right? I would never have thought that, hey, I'm going to invite someone, a total stranger to my home. And if you were the one, the angel investor in this case, why would you invite? invite a total stranger you don't know to your home like isn't that unsafe for you the person giving the product away and why would you have like why would you do that why you don't have any friends who can open this product for you you don't have any friends who can I, I it's just mind numbing to for me to even imagine people believe this is real but you know what people are some people are convinced it is real, and that's why these ads are becoming more prevalent. It's marketing 101. If it doesn't work, then it won't happen. If it does work, then we will see it happen a lot more. And the fact that this is flooding Craigslist, this whole concept of come to my home, we'll open some Modern Masters 2017, and you can keep all the good cards, I'll just watch, this must be attracting like much younger, newer players who really want to open packs and believe they actually will get free cards, which is not, no, there is never, I, I don't know. I mean, I would love to know if somebody does this and it's actually exactly what is advertised because that would be ridiculous. Like uh, sign me up, like, but I'm going to send you first. So you go there first and then let me know how it goes. And then I'll check and I'll ask if you have both uh, kidneys and your in fully intact liver. I don't know. Can you take a liver? I think a liver is one organ, but like it regenerates. Anyway, that's it, guys. Worst Craigslist scam ever. Bye, guys.